Hi, my name is Johan. Today we will talk about extended warehouse management. I'm going to give you an introduction on SAP EWM. By the end of this video, I guarantee you, you will have a clear understanding of what is SAP EWM. So let us go through the slides, disclaimer, agenda. This is our agenda for today. What is SAP EWM? We'll understand EWM and its deployment options and type of organizational units related to SAP EWM. So I'm going to take you through these topics and I'm going to ensure you that at the end of this course, you will have a good idea about what is e EWM. And if you have any questions, please post your questions in the comment section so that I can answer them for you. So let's get started. Firstly, what is EWM? EWM is a warehousing solution of SAP. It's an ERP software which is used to manage inventory of stock at bin level. So we have products coming in and out of the warehouse for managing the products in and out of the warehouse and within the warehouse, we use a software which is SAP EWM. So it basically supports and optimizes all the warehousing functionalities, helps us with the utilization of the resources, help us in managing the products in and out of the warehouse. While the warehouse movements are being carried out, it helps us in giving us a visibility and control of warehouse processes. EWM is also integrated with several supply chain management modules like MMPP, SD, transportation management. EWM was introduced by SAP for high volume complex warehouses, but now with S4 HANA, possibility of using EWM as embedded, we can also use it for small and medium scale warehouses as well. So with EWM, you'll get everything, automation, scalability, efficiency, and productivity of your resources. So let's understand what are the deployment options of SAP EWM? How do you implement SAP EWM? So basically, if you're working on an EWM project or planning to, uh, planning to get started with SAP EWM, so you will be working in one of these warehouses you may work in an ECC ERP system where EWM is integrated as a standalone system. EWM can be separately installed in NetWeaver as part of SCM, or EWM can also be embedded as part of S4 HANA. So EWM can be used in centralized form, decentralized form in the same instance. It can be in another instance. So we have all kind of integration possible with ERP. Your ERP can be ECC or it can be in S4 HANA, EWM will talk to ERP through queued RFCs. So typically at this point of time, you will have EWM mostly in an embedded form. So as of now, a lot of warehouses are moving towards implementing of EWM in embedded form. It gives them advantage of uh, reduce, uh, reduction of maintenance of two separate systems. Also with faster server of faster server response from S4 HANA systems, it is far more better in terms of performance as well. So EWM, the latest version 1909 is currently used at most of the places. Okay, so these are all the key objectives of a warehouse management system, process standardization, efficiency, productivity, customer service, automation, scalability, support. Let us now talk about what are the org units in EWM. In EWM, basically it's a warehouse. In the warehouse, we have several areas. So let me take you through certain types of areas that we have in warehouse. You may have a rack storage. So I can show you a rack storage in a warehouse. So you can see typically in industries, you'll find warehouses having such kind of rack storages. So we, as part of EWM, we implement warehouse management so that we manage the product into this rack storage and control how they are moved within the rack storage and out of the rack storage. Similar to rack storage in a warehouse, you may have a bulk storage as well. I'm just giving you a few options of different types of storages and a warehouse comprises of 
a mix of all these kind of storages. So this is a typical example of products stored in a bunk, bulk form, products stacked one behind the other, one above the other, and we manage such kind of storages also in a warehouse. Another common types of uh, warehouse storage we have is open storage. In open storage, generally the products are kept in your uh, in a facility outside your warehouse, mostly big material, bulky material, minimum number of bins. Such kind of management of stock is done in a in an open storage. Then in warehouse, we also have a lot of resources. We manage all the forklifts, cranes, and how all the uh, warehouse equipments which move in and out, which move the material in and out of the warehouse. So typically we see such forklifts moving the parts in and out of the warehouse. In EWM, we basically manage these resources. What products they are going to move in and out of the warehouse, uh, where they are allowed to enter, where they are not allowed to enter, with what kind of products they can handle, what kind of products they cannot handle. All this management is done in a EWM or a warehouse management system. A warehouse management system also takes care of material in a packaging form. So you have material stored as pallets. So EWM controls and manages a packing functionality as well, how the products are received, they're packed, and they eventually go and store in a rack, in a pallet form, or in a bulk storage, in a, a stacked one behind the other, one above the other. So materials in packaging form, we'll study them, we'll understand the resource management. There are other features like automated storage and retrieval system where the storage and retrieving of products in and out of the warehouse is done by automated systems. EWM or any warehousing system also talks to PLCs directly nowadays. So sending them a telegram message and once the products are stored in the racks, they send us the confirmation that the products are, the product storage is completed. Apart from Automation and storage, we also learn about what is yard management. Yard management comprises of uh, a space outside the warehouse where your truck arrives and they are um, parked there before they are finally stored into the warehouse. So I can just show you a yard as well, how typically a yard looks like. So here you can see, uh, similar to this, we have yards in warehouses where the trucks or trailers, they come, they get parked, they, the stock is loaded onto them. If they are going out outside their plant, we, we unload stock from them when we are receiving parts from our suppliers. So we have these kind of uh, uh, yard management also as part of uh, extended warehouse management. Uh, the area where they are parked is called as doors. So we manage the stocks at doors, we receive the products, we load them, uh, we unload them and on goods issue, we load them onto the trucks and trailers and dispatch them out of the warehouse. So these are typical uh, activities that we do in a warehouse management. Warehouse management is uh, also comprises of, when we execute the processes of warehouse management, we basically divide each of these areas that we have seen, bulk areas, rack area, um, open storage area, yard area, into storage types, section bins. These are the technical structure elements within the system. So when we place the stock, we would be storing them in a bin, which is a location where the products are going to eventually get stored. So if you see a typically a warehouse layout looks like this, you have products in the staging area, you have products in the quality area being inspected. We have packing areas. We have bulk storage, parts in the mezzanine. We have an area where we do production. We receive from production, store the finished products into the packing area, and we eventually put them into staging area and load them onto a truck or trailer. So when we go for warehouse implementation, basically we map the processes, the physical processes which are going on in a warehouse into the system, we map the entire structure of the warehouse and we execute all the physical flows in the system. So the idea of warehouse management is to ensure any movement which is going out, is happening physically, is to map those similar movements into the system so that we could trace the stock, it provides us better traceability, as well as it helps us in performing our 
inbound and outbound processes better helps us in serving our customers better ewm has several functionalities which will also help in keeping the stock at the right location optimizing the inventory so that we don't store more parts as well as we don't under under store okay ewm also helps us with time management ensuring that the products are supplied to customer at the right time not too early not too late not too late just at the right time before they get loaded and dispatched onto the truck or trailer ewm also has several other functionalities like voice picking integration with rfids and several other modern features that we expect in a warehouse management system ewm has all those features so with lot of automation artificial intelligence machine learning coming up in future all these new functionalities will be implemented which will be provided by sap in the ewm system as well in future okay so let us go and understand about a typical process of sap ewm in system let us execute a basic inbound process before we go and execute a basic inbound process in system let us compare ewm processing to a processing how we used to do it in sap wm in wm we used to create a purchase order post gr using migo then there were several documents like tr tos we used to create a transfer order confirm a transfer order into the bin and our put away used to get completed we are going to do the same inbound basic inbound process in a different manner in ewm we are going to create a purchase order do the receipt but the receipt will be done via inbound delivery so inbound delivery is mandatory after doing the creation of inbound delivery we are going to create a task and confirm the task to store a product into the final bins so this is a basic inbound process let us go and execute a basic inbound process to get a understanding of how the processes are done in the system so since we are as if you sense we are using s4 hana now all the sap transactions are done on ferries so let me take you through a delivery creation transaction so similar transactions are can now be executed using ferries in s4 hana so we will execute our warehouse processes using ferry so we will first create a inbound delivery for a purchase order and let us see how the good receipt and put away is done in a warehouse so let me pick up a purchase order here pretty quickly this is a purchase order which is already exists in system this is the product tdst 100 10 pieces it is supposed to be placed into plant pl23 store location 1000 the warehouse into which we are going to put it away is w23 so let us create this inbound delivery and try to receive it into the system here we go our inbound delivery is created inbound delivery number is 1800093 so let me pick this inbound delivery now let us go and see how warehouse processing is done to receive this product and put away into the bin so for receiving the products we use rf scan guns the transaction uh, we have a simulation transaction here to execute the similar uh, scan gun receipt which is test rf environment fury type so here you will see the different menus which operator sees in a scan gun when he is trying to do a receipt and put away we'll go for you are know, doing inbound processing receiving of handling units we are going to receive handling units by delivery because we have just noted down a delivery number so you can see that this product is coming from the supplier ewm 17 hyphen su01 system is asking us to scan the handling unit we didn't create any handling unit vendor has not provided us any handling unit the rf transaction will enable user to pack the products while receiving itself so i'll scan the product and quantity and i would again scan the packaging material to create a handling unit here we go so handling unit uh, sscc handling unit ending with 1176 has been created let me go and receive this handling unit i will do a good receipt 
So this is now received at the door. We have just unloaded the stock and received it into the system. Now my aim would be to go and put it away into the warehouse bin. So I'll say create a task. This is the movement which is happening from the staging area to the warehouse bin. We are executing the movement now. So the movement is going to be tracked into the system as warehouse task. So let us confirm the movement and place the material into bin 8002 0010503. So why let me scan the bin? And here we go. Our put away is completed. All the put away transactions or inbound, outbound, whatever transaction we execute, we are going to execute on the scan guns. EWM provides an option of executing all warehouse processes on the scan guns because in a warehouse, people are moving in and uh, moving around and they don't have uh, laptops with them. They just move around and they, they, they do the transactions on the go. So they also have to declare which forklift or which uh, dolly or which uh, handheld they are using so so that the system tracks what are the what is the equipment or resource they have used to execute a transaction uh, they can also use a crane as well okay so now we have placed the material into the storage area let us now go and validate whether the product is placed into the right bin or not so this is the main requirement for a warehouse management system to help us store the inventory at a bin level so this is a warehouse monitor. This is a central tool which is used for tracking of all warehouse processes. Also, it enables us to see the stock at bin level. So I'm going here, checking my storage bin into which I just put away my pallet. And let me paste the storage bin. And we'll see whether it contains the handling unit or not. So here we can see the handling unit has now been successfully placed into a bin. With, this is a high rack storage area. And the bin is uh, 8002.0105.03. And the handling unit, which we have just placed, is SACC handling unit ending with 1176. So this is, the, this is an example on how we carry out an uh, uh, inburn process. In warehouse, this is was a basic inbound process. Considering EWM is mostly used for complex processes, high volume warehouses, it's the same inbound process. In EWM, we are going to understand how it is done in a complex way. We are going to integrate the same inbound process with the yard, dock appointment scheduling, book an appointment for the truck or trailer. The trailer comes up into the yard. We receive, we unload the trailer. We take it to a deconsolidation area and we pack it. And uh, unpack it and then we move it to a quality area. And then finally, from the quality area, we put it into the final bin or we move it to an identification point where we identify the pallet and then finally put it away into the final warehouse bin. So these are typical activities that you do in a high volume complex warehouses. So EWM has all these features in build, same inbound process we just saw based on all the advanced functionalities, we will be executing them in a EWM system. So EWM is all about execution of transactions in warehouse. And we have many new functionalities, new modern warehousing tools and functionalities provided by SAP, which we'll understand when we work with SAP Extended Warehouse Management.